Yeah, we've had to work hard to get back into the game. And, you know, the things that we spoke about is that they are a very big team. They're very good on set plays. So what we can't do is we can't put ourselves in a position where, you know, we are giving away free kicks and giving them a leg up. And, uh, and after getting back in the game with what I thought was an, an excellent goal, um, at that stage, you know, similar to the last game, you know, we were on the ascendancy and probably at that stage you thought we're not going to lose the game. But there again, we give away a, a free kick. It's a, it's a strength of theirs. Uh, and, you know, at the moment we are conceding too many goals. And, and of course, that being the case, we're finding it difficult to win matches. It was a succession of free kicks, wasn't it, Chris? After after you'd got back on terms, like you say, worked hard, got a good goal, got back on terms, and and then they they kind of laid siege because they could lay siege because there were so many free kicks. Yeah, yeah, but um, but also t t too many because you know we're up against a good team that are you know pushing hard as well, and they've got some strong some strong runners. Um, but that was the, the directive before. You know, if we if we are given away. You know, too many free kicks and corners. It's a particular strength of theirs with the players that they've got, um, and it and it punished us today. Um, what can you do about it, Chris? What what needs to happen from here? Because that's that's three games and and similar outcomes, not only in terms of scores, but mm. in terms of the way the games have gone. Mm. What needs to happen? Well, better? The, the unfortunate thing is we have to look at the negatives. You know, the 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 positives are is is it's you know at the moment it's a it's a it's a younger group, certainly a younger group than we've had. For, for, for quite some time so so as regards to some players developments uh, here that's obviously good for their development but you know we we need that know-how in this division because it's a, it's a, a tough division there's no doubt that the, the squad needs needs strengthening because at this moment you know even even as regards what we're able to to put on the bench um, and certainly with with two or three players out it leaves us very light and leaves us like with with options, you know. Even in, you know, in the the full back area, you know, with young Finn, who I thought acquitted himself quite well. Um, but in that full back area, we are light as well. So, I think we need to certainly dig deep, and we and we need that that type of result. Sometimes you need that type of result that maybe you didn't deserve, but you know you've had the. Um, you mentioned how uh, stretched you are at the moment, resource-wise. Is I know it's been a difficult summer. It's been a difficult window for a, for a lot of clubs. Are you uh, kind of being punished a bit for not doing business earlier in the summer? Um, I can't say we've been punished because there are, there are other clubs in the same position. And what we would like is, is that, as any manager would, you'd want you to get your players in early. Uh, we found it difficult to do that. Um, so, you know, would I prefer them early? Yes, I would. Um, but if that's not the case, you're still striving to get them in, you know, as quick as you can. And, you know, around that, it means that some young players are going to be in in development mode where they're going to be involved more than what we thought they were, they were going to be. But ultimately, it's still a, it's my responsibility to to whatever team put together to do enough in games to get to get results. And uh, and we've fallen short of that. Do you get tempted at this stage to look at trying something new, new formation, whatever it might be, or do you uh, need to stick out what you're doing and do it better? I, I think I think certainly with with new formations, it's about having the right players to play in new formations. And I think probably for where for where we are at the moment, um, you know, we um, we probably don't have the numbers you know if I'm looking at the, the potential options we've got and the type of players that we've got you know if I'm looking at the players that we have in the team you Alex Mightens and your Brennan Johnsons and your uh, Joe Lollies and so if, if I'm looking at you know the type of formation that we've got uh, sorry the, the players that we've got then you know it's div very difficult to change that you know change that formation at this moment you know we have two senior centre-halves so, you know, I think even as regards the possibility of playing three at the back, you know, unless we're playing, you know, one of the young lads, we don't have that possibility. So at the moment, we just we need to be doing better um, with the team that we have in the formation that we have. And I'd like to think that that for what we have, you know, for what's out on the pitch today and Alex might and on on that left hand side, a Zink and Eagle on that right hand side and a grabbing and a Brennan Johnson is that you've got 
you know, you've got enough uh, offensive options, you know, to um, to give us, you know, give us the opportunities that, that we need to get. Now, obviously, they weren't here last year, but you've heard how disappointed the fans are with uh, the start to the season. I'm sure you're disappointed as well, uh, Chris. But, but the worry is, isn't it, that by the time you came in last year, Forest were kind of playing catch-up after an awful start. Mm. And it, it kind of feels the same again, that you're going to spend the season playing catch-up after uh, a poor start. Yeah, and, and I, can, I can understand that. And, you know, it comes with it. You know, it's, it's um, a brilliant crowd here. It's, it's a very vocal crowd. There are passionate crowd and um, and you know when things are going well and you know and they are behind you and so um, you know it's the best thing um, but when things are not going well it's it's a passionate crowd and, and you have to accept that you have to accept you know the the difficult times and the rough with the smooth and, and all we can do is, is is endeavor to to get better results you know for this crowd it's it's a a huge crowd today and probably I would imagine over these two days probably the, the biggest crowd in, in the championship and um, and you know we desperately want to do well for them um, but at the minute it's 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 been tough certainly with um, the results but we have to dig deep and look forward to that next one. We should do a bit of a roll call Chris shouldn't we because not only result wise was it a, a bad night tonight but you've seen players limp off the field and you've obviously had Jordan Gabriel yeah. sent off so he'll be missing at the weekend but what about the other fullback Jordi Osei Tutu because there's concern about him because he had a really bad hamstring injury mm. last year didn't he? How is he? What's he done? Uh, I, I must admit I don't know I think I think it's um, his hamstring I don't think it's bad I think it's just something that he that he felt um, but at this moment at this moment I don't know. Uh, and Joe Lolly was missing tonight. Is what, what's yeah, up? Yeah, Joe's ill. Okay. So, um, so at this moment, of, of course, uh, Joe Worrell is out um, with his calf, and um, at this moment, we'll we'll see where we are as regards going into um, the weekend, and whether there's any possibility. Like will certainly be um, uh, after the weekend, um, but yeah, Joe Lolly is ill. And Jack Colback as well had to, to come off the field tonight. It looked like his shoulder. Yeah, I think that's. Um, uh, I mean, we'll obviously assess that one. I can imagine it's one that will be that will be very sore in the morning. So whether he's done anything bad to it, I don't know, or whether it's uh, the, just the way that he came down and it's um, it's just sore at this moment. So uh, we'll see. And does any of that accelerate the need to maybe do something in the transfer window before the weekend? Um, I, I would like to think so. I, I, players that we need to bring in, I would want them to come in as, qu as quick as possible. Um, and the club are working you know, very hard for that to happen. Um, um, but we'll see.